everybody. How are we doing? Yes, I love to see this packed house. This is amazing. So, welcome to our high school band concert tonight. We've got an amazing production show uh, for you this evening. I'm really excited uh, about what you're going to see tonight. And I think you're going to walk away going, wow. Um, every student from over here to backstage to on the stage has just put tireless effort into everything that makes tonight amazing. So, uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself. I'm Paul Martin, the director of bands here at Scurry Rosser. And also want to introduce our staff, Ms. Amanda Johnson over here and Ms. Brianna Chapman over here. Also, I know they're like, hey, I was going to introduce them later with the jazz stuff, but this is Mr. McGee, Robert McGee from the Elementary Music. <laughs> well, before we get started, I know um, you're like, hey, where's the programs and things? There are the QR codes. It'll be up for a little bit too. You're welcome to just scan that with your camera. It pulls up on your phone and uh, it has a PDF. I just ask you to download that. Uh, where you can have it because that QR code will go away in a few days. So uh, that way you just kind of have it, have it saved on your um, on your device, and I can also email that out to you as well. But that's just kind of helping us save a little bit. We learned that through COVID. So uh, next thing is I want to introduce and just say a big thank you to our administrators for making all that we do possible. Um, th they are just fabulous. Uh, the best administrators I've worked for. And so uh, Mr. James Sanders, our superintendent, is back here in the back. Yeah. Mr. John Costas, our assist assistant superintendent, I'm not sure if he's here tonight. And then uh, Ms. Cindy Wiedemann, our assistant superintendent of finance. Grant Miller, our high school principal. And Ms. Chandra Baba Beck, our assistant principal. <laughs> so our... Oh, Ms. Gail Crow. Yes, thank you. Ms. Gail Crow over here. <laughs> Education. She's great. She's awesome in finding grants and things that we need for our band program. Just love Ms. Crow, so thank you. All right. Our first group to perform is our Scurry Roster Jazz Band. I uh, hope you'll enjoy some of the familiar tunes that we'll play for you this evening.
session. Don't know what they're going to do. But Sorry guys, sorry. <laughs>
Jazz Band another round of applause. We're not The next group is our high school concert band that's up here on the stage. Our first selection will be performed, that we will perform, is written by a good friend of mine, uh, Mr. William Owens, and the students have had the pleasure of getting to work with Mr. Owens, and thank you, administrators, for allowing that to uh, take place of having a world-renowned composer here at Scurry Rosser, you know, where our kids from sixth grade up get to meet. I, I was like, hey, you play the, you know, they just think composers are decomposing. Um, by Beethoven, right? But, but no, I didn't get it. <laughs> but anyways, but yeah, it's great to have Mr. Owens with us and helping us out, doing a lot of great things. And uh, so this piece that we did uh, a few weeks ago at UIL, it's called Core of Discovery.
section right in the middle where it just kind of went boom. And so we all know what that was like back in uh, the ice storm, was it last year? Yeah, blackout. And so, hey, it's, we got our power back. So, um, But that piece was written by a good friend of mine named Brian Balmages, and uh, he's a great, great guy. And uh, the kids have just loved doing that. It's a tough piece of music. So give them another round of applause on that. That's Next, um, next item on the agenda is I want to recognize a group of, of students um, as this is their last concert as a part of the Scurry Rosser band program. And that's our seniors. And uh, I know it's like sad. Yes, it is. Well, for uh, I'm not sad to see Joe leave. Are they sad to see Joe leave? No, I'm just kidding. We love Joe. But uh, seniors, when I call your name, if you'll just come up here to the front, hold your applause, and we're just going to give you a big applause right here at the beginning. But uh, Natalie Dunham on clarinet, Braden Carrier trumpet, Joe Weidman on Barry sax, Blaise Bowden on tuba, and Riley Wyden percussion. This group 
right here, these group of students um, have poured so much of their heart and soul um, into this band program. Um, I don't know Ms. Johnson can attest, you know, for a little bit further. Uh, back down the line, you know, when they were in middle school, starting out as little tots. And there's a, I got a picture the other day of Brayden when he was, you know, like that. So cute. He, he gained a couple of inches, so. But, I know, right? But guys, I just want to say, you know, when I first arrived here as Curry Rosser, y'all were one of the first groups, group of students that embraced me, embraced the changes that we were um, making upon the program, and you lived up to that. You were leaders of part of the ensemble. You guided this group. You were the first ones here. You were the last ones to leave, and I cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart uh, for all that you've done and supporting this program and these students uh, to the best of your abilities. And I love you, and I know that you're going to do amazing in your next chapter in life, whatever that might be. And uh, know that you have my full support and that we are always here for you. And um, again, we love you. So. <laughs> So this last piece of music that we're going to uh, perform for you is not just a piece of music. It, it's a work. Um, it's a production. And uh, right at the end of spring break, um, I reached out to Ms. Kelso in our art department, Ms. Willis in our theater department, and we, we sat down and, and I said, I, I have this idea. I have this idea of having all of our fine arts showcased on one night, one performance, and it's going to shine the light on mental health, mental health and wellness. And they're like, wow, okay. Every day um, we have students and adults across, not only in our district, but across the world um, that battle mental health. And this piece, and I'll play a video here for you in just a few moments of the composer and what he says about it, but it's bringing awareness of that. And you're gonna hear things in this music that's just gonna be amazing. And, and, and you know, someone that's dealt with that when I was in high school, and I walked into the, the theater room and I, was, I talked to those students and I said, hey, you know, many of us battle through these things. And through all that, we persevere. Here I am standing before you as a teacher, but also as someone who cares about you and know that you are not alone and that you don't have to walk through this journey by yourself. Because sometimes it just takes someone to just say, hey, I've got your back. Grab your hand and care for you. When I brought it up to our middle schoolers um, a few weeks ago, to several of those, just, I could see the tears in their eyes of how much they meant. There's like, finally, someone is listening to me. Someone is reaching out and caring for me. And so um, I hope this music, uh, this work, and this production will just shed light on, on mental awareness, on health. And again, these students have worked graciously. It's so amazing. We, we started working on it. Ms. Willis, like, last week we started putting the rehearsals together. And the students, this is all theirs. Uh, I will speak for the theater students um, from the words of Ms. Ms. Willis. Is she get, we gave them the ideas and they ran with it. And it's an amazing thing. Ms. Kelso and her department, she gave them the ideas, they ran with it. And so it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty magical. So uh, we're gonna show a video here as I bring the screen down and uh, let you watch the videos from the composer and then uh, we'll get started with the production.
Hello, my name is Randall Sandridge, and I am the composer of the work you are about to hear, Not Alone. Not Alone was created through a consortium of over 300 schools and organizations who came together to support the creation of a piece of art that would further and represent discussions about mental health conditions. In this work, you will hear some dark moments at the beginning, starting with a solo voice with a bittersweet melody, representing an individual living with such conditions. The piece devolves into a moment of profound despair, anger, and fear as the individual reaches their lowest point. However, at the ending, the original melody returns as the individual has received the help they needed and truly realized that they are not alone. We hope this work will provoke discussions about mental health conditions and also perhaps encourage those of you that might be secretly suffering with such conditions to seek the help you need. Please know that you are not alone and that happiness and help is possible. I want to thank all of the organizations who have come together to support this work. And speaking as a person who lives with depression and anxiety myself, I hope that we can tear down the taboos and make discussing mental health normal. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy the piece. And as always, peace, love, and music.
paintings. We want to see your faces for a picture, don't yeah. put it together. Oh, yeah. so I'm seeing <laughs> oh. All right, everybody smile. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Love you. God bless.